Welcome, 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 collector to Queen Soul for Real Tarot. Thanks for tapping in. Thanks for stopping by. Well, we're going to see what the message is, is here uh, today. Um, this will be a general message. Um, collector, so only take what resonates and leave what does not. I do read the energy on the cards. So, um, reverse the rose when necessary. I could be picking up on masculine energy or feminine energy. But keep in mind, it's just energy. So it's time. I could be picking up on past, present, or future energies. Things that have already happened. Things that are about to happen. Things, you know, that have happened. Okay. So, with that being in mind, um, let's tap in collective and see what Spirit has to say for us today. What do we have here? What's the energy here, Spirit? Please and thank you. They call somebody dove or something like that is what I'm picking up here. All right. Somebody's last name could be Lundy. Somebody's name could be Do. Picking up some some letters here. Hmm. Somebody stays on the web a lot. Or maybe they work on the web. Okay. Hmm. What's your Holy Spirit? Peace and thank you. What's the energy for the collective? Please and thank you, Holy Spirit. Archangel, please continue to um, protect me and my collective. Anybody send anything negative towards our way, negative thoughts, and changes, anything like that, block and blind them and return to center. In the name of the Most High God, please and thank you. What do we have here for the collective spirit? Please and thank you. Okay. Something you, you thought finished burst back into life. So something somebody thought that was over is about to burst back into life. Okay. Whatever that could be. Something you thought that was finished burst back into life. Maybe it could be some unfinished business, an unfinished project or something like that. Something you um, thought you were finished with. Or something you thought that was over burst right back into life. Could be a relationship or a partnership of some sort. Let's see here. Spirit, what's here? Somebody's name is Noel. Picking up on Noel. No, Noel or Noel. Okay. Somebody has to make a choice here. It says you must choose here. Okay. And we have... You can have kittens. Or you can have cats, whoever you are. Okay. Somebody wear some pretty blush on here. Well, somebody also has chickens. You may live on a farm or live around chickens or have chickens yourself here. Okay, this message could be for you all. What's your spirit? Yeah, somebody has to make a choice about something here. And something that you thought was finished burst back into life here. Maybe you thought something was over. It could be a relationship. It could be a situation. Okay, you thought it was over, and, and, and all of a sudden, here it comes again, you know. Wow. What else is here, Spirit? Somebody's name is Debbie. Somebody's name is London. Endless regret, obsessive grief, replaying the past, negative nostalgia. Wow. Hmm. Somebody's in endless regret here. Okay, they're obsessive, obsessively sad about something here, something that happened in the past. Okay, wow, something negative that happened to them, to this person, whoever they are here. Okay, wow, hmm. Some of you could have also been writing a book or something, um, writing something or creating something, you know, you have an arti artistic flow. A way of expressing something here it could be or it could be music could be dance could be anything okay um well it could be writing hmm this is what's gonna um for some of you burst back into life here maybe some of you like painting on canvases or something like that here or you do something special with pictures okay with photos okay you, you or you may work with photos you may work at a photo shop i don't know wisdom as light as a feather okay well somebody uh, must choose something but they must make the wiser choice here 
is what spirit is saying. Whatever this is, I don't know. But if you have a, uh, make a choice, spirit is urging you to make the wiser choice here. Because that, that, that that's a choice that you won't be burdened with. Okay, the other choice won't have you burdened. Okay. But you must choose here. Okay. Or you must choose between some partners here as well. Awesome. Thank you, spirit. I'm also picking up on that. Some of y'all dating two people. You got to figure out which one you're going to stick with, Spirit saying. You must choose, okay? One of them's going to be a heavy load for you. One of them's going to be a light load, okay? But you must choose here, okay? Somebody's sad about something here. What's going on here, Spirit? I'm also picking up on some sadness, some grief here, okay? Somebody can't stop thinking about something, something that hurt them in the past here. Wow. Some type of traumatic experience here, okay? And think about it quite often, all right? And it bothers you, whoever you are. And that could be Tracy. Your name could be Thomas, Tom, Theodore, Jackson, Ed, um, Jonathan or Donathan, Denzel, Dontrell. Hmm. Aaliyah, or Aaliyah, 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 something like that. What else is here, Spirit? Please and thank you. Why is the sadness here? And you've been sad for a while, whoever you are. Why is sadness here? It says, cast away out of the depth, feeling abandoned. Some of you feel abandoned. Maybe you lost a loved one and you haven't gotten over the sadness here. Spirits want you to cast away all that doubt and that sadness here. Okay. Wow. Yeah. You've been drowning in a sea of tears. Somebody's been crying a lot. I was picking up on that in the other reading the other day. When I first started my reading, I picked up on somebody was crying. I could actually hear them crying here. Wow. Spirit doesn't want you to be sad anymore. Okay. Wow. Well. Hmm. Maybe you feel like something was your fault or, you know, whatever you were playing over and over in your head. Spirit wants you to let it go. Okay. Don't let it defeat you here. Wow. Well. Whatever this is, it keeps happening. Okay. You, you, you're in a sad place, so you need to come out of that sad place. Okay. You got a lot to be thankful for. Spirit wants you to recognize that. Okay. Wow. Your initials could be W, B, D, Z. I'm picking up an L. Your name could be in with an E, a T, or N. What else is here, Spirit? Number 111 could be significant. Okay. Whoever said the universe is wanting you to to grow and, and know that nothing's ever your fault. Everything happens in divine timing. Okay. Um, spirits want you to grow spiritually and, and believe that. Okay. And just know that the universe has your back. Okay. We have 213 here. The universe has your back in this situation here. Okay. With the third eye crown chakra here yeah spirit wants you to come up out that uh that spirit of sadness here okay you don't deserve it it's, a spirit said that you know uh everything is taken care of okay you've been holding yourself back drowning yourself in tears okay well but spirit doesn't want those feelings to override you to overtake you okay Spirit wants you to be mindful of that. Think of everything that you can be grateful for. Okay? And things will start changing. The way you feel, the sadness will go away. Okay? And once you start thinking about everything that you can be grateful for. Or everything that you can still do. Okay? Because whoever your loved one is or whatever you're grieving over, that will pass. Spirit has said that will pass here. Okay? You, a lot of you have been by yourself here. Okay? For quite some time. You could be a widow or a widower. Okay? You could have lost your wife or your husband. Or your life partner, okay? There's been some time here, but Spirit wants to enlighten you to something here, okay? 
to how to come out of that that space that you're in of sadness and grief all right to know that spirit has taken care of everything okay spirit wants you to look at the brighter side of everything okay and to just you know um know that you have hmm but some of y'all this was somebody that that you were married to that you lost or that you were in a commitment for many 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 years here hmm what else is here spirit yeah you feel like you lost something you lost a part of you okay well, you know, you want to. Spirit wants you to see the lighter, the lighter side of things. Spirit wants to lighten your burdens for you. Okay. Wow. Move you out of that dark space into a lighter space to make your load lighter. Here, mentally, physically, or spiritually. Here. Okay. What's here, Spirit? Here. Get ready for a transformation, and to come out of this mental conflict. Okay. Spirit said, it's time for you to rest and rejuvenate. Meditate. Get out in nature. Um, realize everything that around you is living. And whoever, uh, whatever loved one or whatever this thing is you think you may have lost, is still here. You just have to get back to it. And what I mean, uh, what Spirit said might get back to it, is that you have to stay grounded. You have to meditate. You have to go within. Okay? And release all negative um thoughts out of your mind here okay and this will bring about that positive change that you need to be able to keep pushing forward moving forward keep pushing forward moving forward moving forward moving forward okay that's what spirit is urging you to do okay what else do we have here spirit please and thank you some of the energy serious spirit yeah because if you don't this could end up you know you could end up in bad health all right, spirit's not wanting you to end up in bad health. Spirit's wanting you to balance out your thoughts. You know, um, don't let negative thoughts overtake you. Always stay positive. Okay, no matter what what comes, just know that you know the Most High is there for you. Okay, and and willing to give you whatever you need in abundance. Okay, to get you through whatever this sadness and grief is. All right, wow. Cause I'm getting that you're having a tough time. Wow. But just know that the Most High is here. The Divine Source is here to guide you through whatever this moment is of grief that you're going through. Okay? Wow. Hmm. Tell me more about you must choose, Spirit. Please and thank you. Why is you must choose here? Why is you must choose here? Wisdom is light as a feather. Yeah, it requires discipline here. Okay. Spirit is wanting you to discipline yourself here. Okay. Set schedules. Um, whatever you set goals. You know what I'm saying? Um, well, just be determined. Okay. And uh, accept all the challenges. Um, by accepting the challenges is the best way to learn. But there's a choice to be made, and Spirit wants you to use discipline when making that choice here. Because one of these loads are going to be heavy, and one of these loads are going to be light. Okay, it could be a job, a career, or something like that. But just choose wisely. Okay, wow. Or if it's a partnership, and some of you uh, have a choice between one person or another person, Spirit wants you to choose wisely. Because one of them has a dark side, and one of them has a light side. Okay, uh, one of them will bring you peace. Okay. Want to bring you peace and want to play the blame game with you, okay? Saying everything is your fault. So Spirit wants you um, to be aware of that, okay? Then we have, um, hmm, somebody's writing something here. If somebody um, thought something was finished, but it burst back into life here, okay? I don't know if you want to accept this because acceptance is in the reverse here. Maybe because you have a lot of pride. Okay, maybe you let this thing go because you know it made you sad, all right? And maybe you don't want to go back to it because you, you're in regret that you did because whoever you did it with was, was toxic, okay? And whatever you said I would do before was unsuccessful. The Spirit said, don't deny yourself. Don't be in denial. Don't doubt yourself. You need to set yourself free, 
okay? Um, regardless of whether or not whoever you were working with or dealing with or whatever, if they didn't care about you or care about your feelings, you, you need to um, gain some strength here, okay? Because And realize that some of these people were envious of you here, and they wasn't going to stop anyway, so you have to take the initiative, okay? And stop feeling guilty about people that were in their illusion anyway, okay? Because they didn't want you to complete whatever your purpose was here, okay? They wanted to, to be around you, okay, so that you would give up and surrender on whatever that was, okay? That's the message from Spirit for there, okay? What do we have here, Spirit? Please and thank you for the collective. What do we have here for the collective? Wow. Hmm. We have a, a feminine energy here that's under some type of judgment here. Wow. Let's see what's going on with this divine feminine that's under some type of judgment. Okay. Maybe, um by um, somebody who's in the hospital, maybe you're a nurse or a doctor or, or some kind of healthcare work or something. Okay, maybe somebody's trying to take you to court or something like that. Okay, wow. They were thinking that something's your fault here. They're thinking that you're the reason that they lost something here. Are they going to court to try to sue you for some money or something here? Okay, for a large amount of money. Okay, for some type of medical negligence or something like that here. Wow. It's in the near future whenever this is going to happen here. Okay, that somebody's going to want to take somebody to court. Um, blaming them you know, for somebody's illness here or something. Maybe they're planning on suing you or filing a lawsuit against you or something here. Um, I was getting feminine energy for that, but you know, you can always reverse the roles on that. What's your spirit? Wow. Let's see what's going on with this divine film that, you know, has to go to court. It could be divine masculine. Yeah, this privileged lady here. Okay. What else is here? Yeah, didn't accept something. Somebody's not accepting your word for whatever it is you said about what happened to somebody. I'm talking about in the in the in the healthcare um, sector here. Okay, somebody thinking it's your fault that something happened to one of their um, loved ones. Okay. They want to they wanna file a lawsuit when you're in court is what I'm getting here. What else is here, Spirit? Yeah. Either they're in despair or feeling this way. The reason why they want to come at you. Okay. Uh, Spirit said it wasn't your fault. Okay. But this person doesn't understand that. Okay. And it has them in despair because whoever this happened to, um, and they may have been sick or in a, a hospital setting or something. This was this, this person is feeling lonely that they don't have this person anymore. This person could have, have ascended, okay. Um, and they're thinking that you that this uh, feminine energy has something to do with it, but this feminine energy didn't have anything to do with it. But they're gonna want to take you to court anyway, is what I'm getting here. They don't want to accept your apology for something here about something happening to their loved one. They don't want your apology or anything. They want to simply take you to court and sue you for a lot of money. That's what I'm getting here. This person um, that's in despair and hurt and wants to blame me for something um, that I found, they're really in despair here. They're really hurting. They're missing this person here. They feel like they have nothing left. Okay. Maybe this is why the sadness and grief came out here. All right. Yeah, they feel like everything has changed. So they may have to change locations, change something here, and they want you to pay because they feel like it's your fault, whatever happened here. Okay. I see 332. What's your spirit? Diana. Hmm. Yeah, this main female, she's really pushing hard um, to sue you in court for some type of. Um, Medical malpractice, medical negligence, or something here. Okay. Well, because you feel like you, you you stole somebody from their life. Okay. This family energy feels like you stole somebody from their life here, from their family or something. <laughs> because they, you, they, they are blaming you are, um, for failing to do something here. And they wanna go, want, want you to go to court. They're wanting to sue you for a lot of money here. 
They don't want to accept no apologies, any gifts from you. Maybe you offered them something, you know, to try to ease their pain, but they're not accepting it, okay? They're not changing. Let's see what their thoughts are here. These are their thoughts here. Okay, it's about taking you to court because they lost something that was very valuable to them here. Okay, this could have been a child. Okay, they could blame you for, you know, their loss of a child here or something like that. Saying that you didn't do something right. Okay, well... And you were being honest here. Okay, you were being honest in your work that you did, all right, to help this person, to help this person that was sick. Okay, you did everything you could do. It, it was out of, you know, out of your hands. It was out of your control, whatever happened to this person. It was not your fault, but these people are still going to try to take you to court. Okay, that's what I'm getting here. Wow. This couple, possibly this mature lady. They want you locked up, but you, you're you not going to get locked up, all right? They want you locked up, but you're not going to get locked up, Spirit said. Wow. Can get some final messages, Spirit, please, and thank you. Final messages for the collective. Final messages, Spirit, for the collective, please, and thank you. Final message for the collective. I hope everybody's day is going well. Please remember to hit that thumbs up button, guys. Come on, let's get this thing going. Hit that thumbs up button. Get these views up, okay? Hit the subscribe button if you have not already subscribed. Thank you to my A1 Day Ones. They've been hanging in there with me since I first started. I appreciate you. I see you. I thank you. Okay. Um, also, if you like to to donate to the channel that would be deeply appreciated you know if, if you if you if you can't be find it in your heart to do so all right we deeply appreciate it um let's see what's the final message here for the collective spirit please and thank you final messages for the collective yeah somebody wants to take somebody down here okay Wow, somebody here um, is creating fake accounts of somebody's name here. Okay, well, hmm. That's what I'm picking up. Somebody's creating fake accounts. Okay, stealing other people's ideals. You could be a tarot reader. Okay, well, hmm. You're making fake accounts here. That's what Spirit is saying. Somebody's in, in anxiety. Somebody's in a lot of depression here. Maybe this is this energy here. You need to come up out of that like Spirit said. Okay. Wow. You're doing nothing but stressing yourself out. Okay. There's somebody ratchet in somebody's energy too here. They've been checking your emails and going through your phone here. All right. What else is here? Divine timing. Something's going to happen in divine timing here at the perfect time here i'm getting this is this first energy um that i read here or either the one where you must make a choice here okay well spirit said in divine timing what's here spirit any more messages for the collective please and thank you please hmm what do we have here? Yeah, somebody's wanting to text message somebody here about something. Somebody's been waiting on a text message or some type of communication or a phone call. All right, expect that text message. You're going to get it. It's going to come through for you, whatever it is. Somebody's going to get a spiritual awakening. Okay, this person has been in this, um, this dark and lonely space of a lot of grief, never-ending grief. You're about to have a spiritual awakening. Okay, wow, well, there's a lot of Picking up some energy. There's a lot of mean girls that's gossiping about somebody here. Somebody's talking about somebody here. All right, man. They they communicate in all kinds of ways too, um, big time. All right, they put some information um, out there about you. They want to tell you about some information. Okay, somebody might DM you. Okay, or they might call you or text you, but they're gonna communicate with you. Okay, it's, these are mean girls, so I'm picking up these are the bully type energies or whatever. People that have been talking about you, okay, behind your back, all right? Hmm. 
Maybe because they're mad because you're in a happy relationship. Okay, they want to try to bring you down or something like that. I don't know. What else is here, Spirit? Give me a few more for the collective, please, and thank you. There's a wedding here for somebody, a marriage, okay. The one, all right. A forever union for somebody here. There's a marriage, okay, in the near future here, okay. Wow, somebody has a mistress here, okay. Wow, they're viewed as the enemy in a third party relationship. There's a mistress here, mistress here in somebody's relationship here, all right. What else is here, spirit? Somebody who leads this group with, with this gossip and stuff, stuff thinks there's a know-it-all. They try to play like they're a diva, but they ain't shit for real. All right, that's what Spirit said. They're not a diva. They're never close to being a diva. That's why they talk a lot. Somebody's not going to want to make up with somebody and give somebody a second chance here. Okay? Somebody ain't missing somebody. You definitely don't miss them, whoever this is. You don't want to reconcile or nothing like that with a gold digger. Okay, who values money over love here. Somebody always wants your money here. Wow. Something about a female uh, uh, detective. Okay. Yeah, drugs, alcohol, obsession. There's a female detective watching somebody's, somebody, uh, somebody's addiction. Okay. Wow. Drugs or alcohol here. All right. You use, a, you use uh, drugs or alcohol in an obsessive amount here. There's a female detective that's watching you. I don't know what they're watching you for. Okay. They're trying to determine if you have medical issues or if you need medical help or something like that. But they're watching you. Okay. What else is here? Anything else here, Spirit? Somebody out here plays cards a lot. Yeah. Somebody's going to be served something here. What are they going to be served, Spirit? Hmm. Somebody's going to be served something here. Okay. Wow. You can serve some, some uh, council plans. Somebody's going to cancel some plans for somebody here. What else is here? A tyrant's going to be served here. Here, Okay. Somebody that's cruel and obsessive. Okay. Uses force to control people. You're about to be served whoever you are. Okay. If you're watching. Not my collective. But if you're watching or you're my collective energy. You're about to be served. If you've been mean. You know. And cruel to my collective here. You about to be serving some papers. You're gonna have to show up in court here. Uh, maybe, maybe you, you know, you may think you're a tyrant, okay? But you're a serial stalker here too. Is what I'm getting here. Okay. Somebody's gonna get married and be falling in love here too, is what I'm getting here. Somebody thinks they're a diva, but they're talking and gossiping about you, okay? About your relationship. Alright. If somebody wants to marry you or they're gossiping because you're, you're about to get married somebody's jealous yeah somebody thinks they're a diva here you are a diva the one that's about to get married and the one that's doing all the gossiping is not a diva because it came out in the reverse here a few more spirit please and thank you who else is here yeah they could be possibly a carbon friend of some sort Wow, somebody's going to discover some sex items. Okay. Wow. Hmm. And that's why you're not going to want to get back with somebody here. You're going to discover. You're going to discover some sex items here. Okay. That a gold digger has. Because they value money over love here. So, uh, what Spirit said, they're not. They're, they're, they don't love you. Okay. Wow, but you seem not to be happy with without this person or something here. Okay, this gold digger. The spirits want you to wake up, okay? That's what I'm saying. Yeah. Crying over somebody here. Why are you crying over somebody? A karmic? You crying over a karmic? Oh, a karmic family member, possibly? Or a karmic? Take it how it resonates. Here we go again. They want another chance. And you don't even want to reconcile with these people here. Anything else here, spirit? Tell me about these council plans. About these council plans, and maybe this person that you don't want to, um, yeah, you, you just burned out. <laughs> Spirit said, No, this you just burned out. You don't, you, you want to council plans, you're tired of going to meetings or whatever business meetings, meeting up with people. You're just tired here. If this one who don't want to reconcile, you don't want to be with this ex lover, okay? This ex lover may be trying to contact you, you know. Wow, 
being all nostalgic in their memories and stuff, thinking about the past. You don't want this person. Yeah. But who are about to get married? Okay. There is a, a, a proposal here, an engagement, an agreement for a diva here, for an empress here is what I'm picking up here. Yeah, somebody has addictions here. This it's female detective is watching you. If you have addictions, so be careful here. Okay. Wow. There's a karmic lover here with PSTD here. Okay. Post-traumatic spiritual syndrome is what I'm getting here. Okay. They're having money issues right now. Maybe this is why they want to come back towards you because now their back's against the wall here. Wow. This karmic female. Wow. Mm -mm -mm. Spirits that they are an habitual time waster. You don't want this karmic uh, female to come in and wasting your time. Okay, because they're a habitual time waster. They keep coming back in the same energy. In the same energy. You want to keep taking this person back and continue to be in this toxic relationship with this person. You know, when you're fighting and always having disagreements, you know, triggers and shit like that. You're always going to end up with disappointment, as Spirit said. You're going to always end up with disappointment because this is dark feminine energy here. Dark feminine energy. I means this person is no good for you here. That's why you must choose this here. You know, one is going to, you know, be at the lighter side and the other one's going to be considered a bird. Final card. Final card here, spirit. Wow. Somebody satisfied with their current state, even if it's not good. Oh, wow. This is you been with this, uh, you're going to be disappointed in this toxic relationship with this, uh, dark energy, um, dark feminine energy here. Okay. Cause you, you need to make the right choice here. Wow. One of them's a scrub. They just want to live off of you. Okay. Wow. Yeah. I know it all. But what, what's going to happen? They're going to be, uh, become real annoying to you and they're going to be a burden to you. So choose wisely. Okay. Yeah, somebody thinks they got you whipped here. Okay, it could be this karmic feminine over here, or this karmic masculine. Take how it resonates and reverse the roles here. Yeah, the spirit say, yep. Just a waste of your time. And that's the second time that came out. This person will be a waste of your time. A habitual time waster. All right, I'm going to end the uh, message right here, spirit. Once you clear your energy out, okay, clears your space, okay, your phone, yourself. All right. With these people coming in with these nasty communications, gossiping about you and stuff like that, texting, trying to call you, being being bullyish or whatever, okay, with this person that thinks that she's a diva, this feminine energy, she's not a diva at all, okay, it's more like a devil, okay, with all that satanic energy around her, smudge, spirit says you need to smudge, cleanse your energy, okay, yeah, cleanse your energy area here, okay, wow. Don't waste your time with this karmic liar over here. Okay? This karmic liar over here. Spirit said, yeah. You're going to be in shock if you make the wrong choice here. So make sure you make the wrong, right choice. And, and, and don't make the wrong choice. If you, if you pay attention, you would detect if this person is gaslighting you or not. That's what Spirit said. Okay? Wow. Because this person really doesn't want to be with you. They're afraid of commitment. They just want your money. That's what Spirit said. Yeah, there's succubus energy here. Some some dark energy, feminine energy wants to seduce you and manipulate. That's what she does. Manipulates men, okay? You don't want that. You got a choice between two, okay? But this one's damn sure a karmic lover if you get with that one, okay? Wow. Mm -hmm. Anything else? Yeah, they'll betray you, okay? And they will throw you up under the bus. Because this is what they do with the succubus energy. They'll throw you up under the bus. Usually for what they can get in there. Keep it moving. Wow. This is a diabolical even evil person. This is a, a, a dark feminine energy. Okay. You got to choose between the two. Is what I'm getting here. You must choose spirit said. With that I'm going to end the message. I hope someone gets something out of this message. Remember hit the like, share, and subscribe button. Hit that notification bell. To know when I upload another video. Alright. And um, thanks for supporting me. And just know that I love you guys. Until next time, namaste.